the fish are jumping, the sky is blue, the water is blue, and you want to go fishing, but you've never been fishing. You don't know really how. Is that your situation? Stick around, we're going to start with the very, very basics. If you're not a subscriber yet, be sure to hit that uh, subscribe button down below and ring that bell icon so you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. So, you want to go fishing, but you've never fished before, and you don't have the slightest clue where to start, I'm going to try to help you. I'm no expert, but I can give you some very basics. This one is called a bait cast drill. It is not really for beginners because uh, it has some casting techniques that you have to learn or you're going to have a big old mess in here with all this line. So stay away from this one for now. This one is the one I use mostly. It's a spinning reel. I like it. It has a bell. You just flip it over and you cast it not much to it but it does have a little bit of a learning curve so don't get this one yet unless you're just dead set on getting it now I'm not here to tell you what to get and what not to get I'm just here to give you some very very basics this is a spin cast drill closed face all you do is push the button and cast it. And when you get like that, you let go of the button and off it goes. So, not much to this one. And this is what I highly recommend starting out at. This little reel will catch fish. Any of them will catch fish. But this one will catch fish... Uh, if you're fishing for perch, crappie, smallmouth, and smaller fish, smaller game fish, I would venture say up to four or five pounds. When you start getting bigger than that, then you want to jump over to the spinning reels or the uh, or the bait cast. These are generally the heaviest duty they will bring in the biggest if you get them but if you're just starting out start off with something like this it's inexpensive compared to some of these other ones because a lot of times you get what you pay for and that, that's just facts this one is uh, Flunger Fluger I'm not real sure how to pronounce it I'll put a link in the description to it and I'll show you on Amazon and that's what it looks like and I have it paired up with just a light rod if you look on the rods I don't know if y'all are gonna be able to see this or not but this is the five foot six two section medium action light to medium is what you want on these reels you want a little flexibility you know and uh, we, we can get more into the t different types of rods later if y'all are interested. But I'm, I'm just wanting to show you the basics. Now, go to the Academy, Walmart, or order it from Amazon. It would really help me out if you'd use that link down below. It's an affiliate marketing link, which means I'll get a little bitty commission, and it won't cost you any extra if you order something off of there. Even if you don't order a reel, if you order something else. Anyway, this is what I use a lot when it comes to perch fishing, crappie fishing, and just piddling around. You know, sometimes it's just fun to go wet a line. And this is a good beginner's rod, real. This particular one, you can unscrew this if you see that. And you can put the handle over on this side for left-handed folks. Now, I'm gonna show you how to tie a knot. Because uh, that is real important. So, 
Hang with me. Hopefully, y'all will be able to see this. You got your, your line. And you get over here in the front of the lens. You got your line, and you just put it through the little eyelet, which can be challenging at times. There we go. Now, pull you some line through there. See there how we got that? Now, got it like that. Now, I personally put like two fingers right here, right here in the middle, and just take this other end. You got this end right here. Take it and go around that main line. Uh, three four five six seven eight nine ten now you don't have to go ten but the stronger the better right now see you got that big loop right there hopefully y'all can see that now take this line and put it right through the middle of that okay follow me now that made another loop Take that and go back inside that loop. Now, you have that. You just start pulling it a little bit tight. Now, here's the thing. This is monofilament line, and it creates friction when you slide that. So, moisten it one way or the other. Lake water, with your tongue, whatever. And lake water is not going to kill you. Well, generally it won't kill you. Anyway, get it a little bit wet so it don't get hot when you're pulling that tight. Now you can just pull that down, and voila, you got your knot. Hopefully y'all can see that. This other end, it's called a tag end. You can cut that off, but don't cut it too far. Generally you want to cut it about an eighth of an inch or sixteenth. You know, something about like that. And there you go. That is how you tie that knot. Nothing to it. Alright, now that we got that out of the way, there's a couple things that you're gonna need depending on what kind of fishing you're gonna do. One is hooks. Two is weights. And three is a bobber if you're gonna fish not if you're not going to fish on the bottom now the hooks depend on the size of fish you're going after if you're going after perch or something like this this is number four i don't know if y'all can see how little those hooks are in that package but they're small and these will work for crappie too you can put a little piece of worm on there or a minnow or a little crappie bait and there you go but the thing that a lot of people won't tell you is the weight size. The weight size makes a big difference. Now, I don't care if you're fishing on the bottom, if you're fishing with a bobber, or what. Fish will feel that tension. When they, when they strike and they go to pull on that bait, they'll feel that. And if they feel something pulling back, a lot of times they'll shy away unless they're aggressive. If they're hungry and aggressive, they're going to hit it. I don't care if you got a one pound weight on there, they're going to hit it. But, generally speaking, you want to use the lightest weight that you can get away with and get it out where you want to get it. Don't use a two ounce weight if you're just going to cast out 20 or 30 foot. And you don't have to cast to the middle of the lake either. Not generally. Now, in this hot weather, the deeper water is cooler and that's where the majority of your fish are going to be but if you're fishing in the mornings or the evenings those catfish and those other fish will come up closer to the bank so that's another lesson <laughs> but anyway use the lightest weight you can get away with that way is it don't scare off the fish yeah i'm gonna go wet a line i hope this has been a help to y'all if it has Leave me a comment down in the description 
or down in the comment section if you would like to see more videos like this. We can uh, discuss fishing line. Maybe that's what we'll do next. So, y'all go get you a rod and reel. Do a little practice casting out in the yard or whatever. Just tie the weight on there. You don't have to put a hook on there. Just tie the weight on there and just cast it around. Learn how to cast. And I'll show you how to cast in the next video and then we'll talk about fishing line as well. So y'all keep on keeping on and I'll see y'all down the road. Bye. I go straight from the bank, gassing up the tank, cranking up the radio, playing old Hank. It ain't that long till I'm back at the pond. I'm pulling up the truck down at the dock. It's time to do some cruising, baby. Get a little stuck. It's a Saturday joyride.